Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Prologue. The summer king knelt before her. Is this what you really choose? To risk winter show. She watched him. The boy she'd fallen in love with these past weeks. She'd never dreamed he was something other than human, but now his skin glowed as if flames flickered just under the surface. So strange and beautiful she couldn't look away. It's what I want. You understand that if you are not the one, you'll carry the Winter Queen's chill until the next one risks it, and you'll warn her not to trust me. He paused, glancing at her with pain in his eyes. She nodded. If she refuses me, you will tell the next girl and the next. He moves closer. And not until one accepts will you be free of the cold. I do understand. She smiles as reassuringly as she does. And then she walked over to the hawthorn bush. The leaves brushed against her arms as she bent down and reached under it. Her finger wrapped around the Winter Queen's staff. It was a plain thing, worn as if countless hands had clenched the wood. It was those hands, those other girls who'd stood where she now did. She didn't want to think about it. She stood, hopeful and afraid. Behind her, he moved closer. The rustling of trees grew almost deafening. The brightness from her skin, his hair, intensified. Her shadow fell on the ground in front of her. He whispered, please, let her be the one. She held the winter queen's step and hoped. For a moment, she even believed. But then ice pierced her, filled her like shards of glass in her veins. She screamed his name. Kinan! She stumbled toward him, but he walked away, no longer glowing, no longer looking at her. Then she was alone, with only a wolf for companionship, waiting to tell the next girl what a folly it was to love him, to trust him.